we take you to China, where a battle is quietly brewing between the U.S. and China's artificial intelligence ambitions. Chinese Asia's Jeremy Ko takes a closer look at what some say is the coming AI Cold War. This is a table tennis training session with a twist. His sparring partner is not a human, but an elaborate machine which uses artificial intelligence for serves and returns. It's developed by China's largest robotic company, Sinsung, and the China Table Tennis Academy. This is just one example of how investments in the digital sector are changing how people live, work and play in China. President Xi Jinping has repeatedly stressed the necessity of promoting scientific and technological innovations in government reform. And this includes areas like big data as well as artificial intelligence. China's goal is to foster a one trillion US dollar AI industry by 2030. And today, it's home to tech giants like Alibaba, Tencent and Baidu. But China's dazzling AI advances is increasingly seen as a threat to the United States. To combat that threat, the Trump administration has announced tariffs targeting industries key to China's digital push – aerospace, automobiles, information technology and robots. AI fundamentally is used to increase productivity and maximize efficiency. So whichever country has a wide application of AI technology will have an edge over its competitors. And in terms of geopolitics, I would say AI will have its largest impact on economic development. For now, the United States is still where the bulk of AI innovations are taking place. Back in 2016, a US government report warned that China has already surpassed the United States, at least in terms of journal articles that mention deep learning or deep neural network. The stakes are too high for either country to let their guards down. The development of AI is expected to bring about the fourth industrial revolution. For the United States, losing its lead in artificial intelligence could very well mean losing its economic supremacy eventually. As for China, it wouldn't want to see a hard-to-come-by opportunity to reign supreme again slip through its grasp. Jeremy Cole, Channel News Asia, Beijing.